बी विथ मी फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड बजट बेटर एज फॉर एनी इवेंट वी प्रिपेयर अवर ओन बजेट एज स्टेटमेंट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेड रेवेन्यू एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ड्यूरिंग अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड नेशन बजेट इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट नेशन मेंटेन्स अ कंसोलिडेटेड फंड वेयर द फंड कम्स फ्रॉम टोटल रिसिप्ट which is divided in revenue receipts and capital receipts the same consolidated fund is used for the purpose of expenditure which is again divided in revenue expenditure and capital expenditure when we say revenue receipts and revenue expenditure we are talking about receipts or expenditure which are in normal course of business and in day to day regular operations they keep on recurring like a grocery bill and electricity bill in household budget and salary or business income as a recurring income on other hand capital receipts and capital expenditure these are non recurring in nature let us now understand these terms in further detail starting with revenue expenditure is recurring in nature and from government point of view it is further divided into three parts salary and pension to government employees second subsidy on food fuel and fertilizers and third interest payment on government debt capital expenditure which is non recurring in nature is further divided into expenditure on infrastructure projects and expenditure on machinery and equipment like mainly defense equipment revenue receipts come from tax revenues and non tax revenues as tax revenue is detail one we will discuss this later non tax revenue mainly comes from government's administrative receipts and public sector undertakings contribution to government that comes by way of dividend of post offices and railways and other psus capital receipts this is again divided in debt receipts and non debt receipts debt receipts as name suggests these are receipts by government on account of loan taken by government by way of issuing government bonds in the market non debt receipts come by way of recovery of loan given by government to other governments and also various receipts on account of sale of government assets like disinvestment receipts all these are non debt receipts accounted under capital receipts let us now understand tax revenue in detail tax revenue is divided in direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes are the taxes which are paid directly to government like income tax capital gain tax corporate tax wealth tax gift tax and indirect taxes which we pay while buying goods and services these are indirectly paid these are like custom duties excise duty gst so this forms the total consolidated fund from where expenditure is made and various sources of receipts are added into it generally there is always deficit because in any budget expenditure is always higher than expected risk particularly in developing nations they like to invest more on infrastructure and hence crossing their total receipts this deficit which is created as a difference between budgeted expenditure and budgeted total receipts that is known as fiscal deficit any deficit is bad but for developing countries if the fiscal deficit is focus on capital expenditure then this should not be considered as negative revenue deficit is however more serious than fiscal deficit revenue deficit is a balance between revenue expenditure and revenue receipts and if there is a revenue deficit that shows that nation is spending more on its recurring expenses than its capacity to receive in form of taxation at individual level it is like your monthly expenditure is more than your salary this is all about consolidated fund of india in our budget session